leaving my outer bags. Good morning, everyone. We are packing up to go. It's cloudy out there, but we'll still be sad to see the beach gone from our view. I've just been folding everything up. We brought our own blankets, so just folded those up. Everybody's dressed, eating leftover donuts. Gotta start gathering trash. I've gotta sweep up dog hair. And then just get the rest of the kitchen stuff packed up once everybody's done with that. Not gonna be a very fun video for you guys today, but it is what it is. All right, we are leaving. Bye, Outer Banks. fastest trips we've had. Apparently we had a little power hiccup because that one's very sensitive and always goes out. Looks like it was less than a minute because they are pretty close. But yeah, one of the fastest trips we've had. Way less traffic. We didn't hit traffic to the very end just being near <laughs> Northern Virginia. Always traffic even during COVID. Anyway, we are getting everything out of the roof box because it's supposed to thunderstorm or something. So, gonna finish unpacking. The kids have raced off to do things they missed. He's doing the Wii. Sebastian is doing Hot Wheels, right? Uh, what, but right now I'm going to get gun in my room. I said he could have the Hot Wheel checks in his room because most of the Hot Wheels we just got are up there, so. We can build them in there and just have it go out in the hall. We need curves. We don't have curves. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Excuse the fan. It is so noisy, but it was like up to 90 today here, so cooling everything down. Sebastian is in the shower, and it's about 7.30. He hasn't had a nap in three days. Two of the days, it's because... Well, the first day, it's because we did the beach and the pool and we told him no nap. The next day we did the pool and he totally had time for a nap but he refused and I didn't push it. Today it was because we were in the car. He napped for like 15 minutes right before we had to stop for gas. So that woke him up and he didn't sleep after that. So yeah, he's been having his moments where he completely freaks out and so that's just like maniac determined to be as horrible as he can mode, but I don't know, you like can't even get through to him. We need to get on our routine, but he has a birthday invitation for a Zoom or no, messenger video birthday party tomorrow at 3 p.m. Excuse me, I'm getting the bed ready. Cannot wait to sleep in my bed with that weighted blanket, the gray one. All my covers, <laughs> it's a sheet, a fluffy comforter, this blanket, my weighted blanket, and another blanket. Uh, I've been living with just a sheet and a blanket like this, which was very soft and nice, but I felt like I was going to float away because I didn't have the weight on me, and it was so hard to fall asleep. I was putting my big 
black sweater on top of me and the baby blanket that we have from the car, but nothing was enough. So I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, back to the party. It's right at three. I usually falls asleep right before three. So I'm hoping for an early nap. If not, it will be around 3.30 when the party if call is ending. She thinks it'll be about a half an hour. So we'll see, fingers crossed. He really, really, really needs to get back on the schedule. Anyway, we made great time. As I said, it was under six hours. It's been like eight hours at times coming home. It's usually pretty miserable. Sometimes Friday checkout can help and sometimes not. Sometimes you get stuck in like rush hour. I do think that COVID is helping. I think it helped a lot through many areas that we drove through. Once we got to Northern Virginia, there's just so many essential workers here that the traffic got us for the last hour, but it really wasn't that bad. We're used to it. And we just kept saying, hey, it's been clear sailing up until this point, so that's great. I'm not sure if there's anything else to say. I've just been unpacking things and I did leave the house fairly clean, like things are vacuumed. And I mean, my husband's clothes are still there, but I don't think he actually puts anything in his dresser drawers. I still have some clothes to put away. I do laundry there. The only dirty laundry we've brought home is in that bag. That's just some recycling I need to bring down. We have very full recycle bins because we missed the day before the trip, which Thursday's recycle day. And then obviously it was yesterday. <laughs> so both of our bins are extremely full. I'm gonna try and cram that in there plus another week's worth. Um, yeah, so it was nice to come home to a clean home. I don't have to deal with that, just unpacking stuff. I did start taking some pictures for Sebastian's party invitation. He is going to do a car parade. <laughs> so we will just set a time, probably about a half an hour span and just say anybody who wants to drive by and honk and hold signs, even decorate your car if you're feeling up for it. And we will go outside and wave back and I'll try not to cry because the last car parade I saw was for the elementary school kids when school suddenly closed. A couple weeks into that, a car parade came through the neighborhood of all the teachers and I lost it. Oh, cause this world sucks. Life sucks. So hopefully I can hold it together. And then later that day, probably gonna have to be around six because we have a lot of California relatives. We will do a Zoom video. Sorry, he's talking to me. A Zoom video meeting so everybody can sing happy birthday and we'll blow the cake candles and he wants a volcano cake for dinos so i'm gonna help him out and then i'll be right back hi guys hello from bed we are busy reading some library books um these are the ones that they gave us when they called for us to try out one of the first slots of the curbside pickup and now that is launched for everybody so I just went ahead and put some more books on hold on the way and we're going to read the ones that they gave us they're actually due before the ones that we've had since March which is crazy mm. but this little guy is ready for bed as soon as we finish these books right anyway guys stay safe have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, wash your hands. Wash your hands.